All right, so in this tutorial, we will look at how to complete an assignment in Microsoft Teams. So first you're gonna to go to office.com on the web and you're going to log in with your district provided email and password. Once you're logged in, you're in the Office 365 home screen. You're gonna look for the Teams app. Here's Teams. Okay, once Teams loads, you'll see your classes. Go ahead and click into the relevant class. All right. Now you might notice in the general channel posts area that the assignments will populate and you can, there's a link to view the assignment there. Otherwise you can go up to the assignments tab at the top of the team and you'll see all of the current assignments. Click into the assignment name. All right, here you will see the assignment title, the instructions of what you are to do. And if we scroll down, we will find, uh, in this case, there is an attached file that your teacher already provided for you. So you will simply click here to begin working on that. Uh, in some cases, you might be asked to upload a file. In that case, you would click Add Work, and you would attach that file and upload it. All right, and we see that this is four points possible. In some cases, your teacher might also provide a rubric as a resource to let you know how you can get that four points. All right, so let's go ahead and work on the file. So we're going to click on this Word file to open it up. And you'll notice that the file opens up and we are still in Microsoft Teams. We don't even have to leave this team to work on our Word document. So here we're going to go ahead and we have the instructions again here on the document for our reference. And down here we can see that we need to write our response here. And you can go ahead and continue typing and working in your document. You can use the formatting tools at the top of the page, obviously to format your text and, and do various things with your text. All right, and once you are finished, you're gonna go ahead and click the close button up here at the top to close out of the assignment. Now we are back at the assignment details. And what you'll notice here is there is a turn in button. You can click this button when you are done with your assignment to turn it in. Now, if you're not finished with the assignment and you'd like to come back later, you can simply navigate back out of this and come back in at a later time and continue working on your file. As we notice here, the due date is August 21st um, at midnight. So I have time to work on this. I can go back and come back into this at a later time. But when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Turn In button to send this off. And we get a lot, nice little animation there. Now, another thing to add is let's say you realized that, oh, I want to work on this assignment a little bit more. I still have a few days before this is due to turn in. You can click Undo Turn In right here and request that your teacher have it sent back to you so you can continue working on it. Once you have submitted the assignment, what you'll see down here is it is lumped under the completed category. After you click on completed, you'll go ahead and click on the assignment. And here you'll be able to scroll down and see the feedback from your teacher. So there's the written feedback and there is your final point value score. In addition, you can also go up to the grades tab. And when you click in here, you will see all of the assignments for this class and your grades. So you'll see the name of the assignment and you'll see whether or not it was turned in or in this case, the assignment's been returned to you with feedback, and you'll see your point score there.